here. Jonathan and Alden. Jonathan, you are on the night cap. Sorry. Hey, Joe. Um, I pretty much agree with everything you said about Josh Allen, but I disagree with what you started off with. You said you want a higher draft pick. I understand why, but for me personally, we should beat Detroit. But I want Josh Allen to go into Foxborough and to beat the quarterback who tortured us for nearly 20 years. And then look at Miami. Their season's probably going to come down to the last game. So, uh, probably. But, so, I would like, I really want to see the Bills win these last three games. I understand you want a high draft pick, but look at Josh Allen. He looks good. He's looking good. I just want to see the progress. And if he could beat Tom Brady, it would be, the city will explode. Let me, let me, Jonathan, let me just ask you one question before I, I cut you off here. Do you, would you trade, say, just for sake of argument here, would you trade a third round pick to beat the Patriots? Mm, I, I, I would. I, I, really, okay. I really, I just want to see Josh Allen look good. Oh, okay. I, I, I got you. I got you. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. You want to see Allen go into Foxborough. You want to see him march in and beat Tom Brady. And you would trade a third round pick to do that. The reason I bring that up is you look at the NFL draft value chart. Third round pick is about 200 in value, which is about the difference between, I don't know, the fourth and sixth pick. Let's just say that for sake of argument right now. You got to think about that. You got to think about that value. And it's it's not a perfect world to use this as an example, but you got to think about every win now costs them something. At the same time, as does give them something, especially if Allen's the reason that they're winning. But you got I got I. It's hard for me to not think that way, especially when I saw what happened to the Jets last year, having to give three second round picks because they won an extra two three games at the end of the year. They were meaningless. I, it's hard for me to not think like that. It's for hard for me to. I, I understand where you're coming from, and I completely think it's fine to want them to beat the Patriots, to want them to beat the Lions. They're your team. You should root for them. But I think at, all, at the same time, you should understand that. When I see that win, I see that value chart in my head. Well, they just went from the fourth pick to, let's see, they're at the sixth pick right now. If they were to end up at the 11th pick, which is still very much in reach, that right now is the difference of about, that's about a second round pick. And my mind goes to, I don't want to trade a second round pick for a couple of meaningless wins against the Bill or against the Lions and Dolphins. But like I said, you can be on either side of that coin, and I think you're completely fine. You have an argument to do that, and you have a right to do it. All right, I got to get out of here. We got Monday Night Football coming up next. The Vikings and the Seahawks, big game in the NFC. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I will be.